today I am up with Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L and I am going to be creating a layout with a unique twist on their creative photo corners. So creative photo corners are a staple in the scrapbooking world. They have been around for a very long time and been used for very traditional purposes like being able to set your pictures onto a layout but still be able to remove them. One of the things I enjoy about them though is that with just a little bit of thinking you can come up with a unique way to use them and so I'm going to be showing you that today. First I'm going to build the base of my layout. So you can see I've used my Easy Runner Grand to adhere some circles onto that black cardstock. I am using the Simple Stories page kit from this month's um, kit from the Scrap Room. And this is a really girly kit. However, I am using it for a layout about my oldest son because it is pictures of him going to a dance with a whole bunch of girls. And so I felt like it would really still work well for that. And some of the words and stuff that came in it just seemed to fit the situation. So we made it work for, uh, for a boy layout <laughs> without making it too feminine of course um you can see there's lots of pink and florals in there but i think it still just has kind of a teenager feel to it so i'm adding my pictures on now i printed my pictures out small i put four of them onto a collage in pick stitch and then printed them out so they're about two by three approximately and then i matted them onto white cardstock and i popped those up with crafty foam tape now comes the creative twist with the creative photo corners. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna go around a couple of the circles to create kind of a flower look. Um, now, what you're seeing right now is that I started off putting them on one next to another and it worked for like the first three, but then when I got beyond that, the curve started to throw things off and I was getting too much space. So what I ended up doing is just overlapping one edge just a little bit and that ended up working perfectly. And you'll see, I go through quite a few photo corners here, but not more than one package or anything. It's like, I, I wanna say I did about a sheet and a half of them. And these are just the plain white ones. So you could definitely ink them up to color coordinate if you wanted a different color. I like have so many ideas going through my head as I created this of other things I'm gonna try out with this. So this is definitely something you're going to be seeing again from me very soon. Now you can see with doing that to just one of them, it has a really fun look, but I felt like it needed to be done to two. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same, the one with the same pattern paper background. And I do wanna mention while I'm thinking about it, this is actually based on a sketch from the scrap room as well. It's for the throwback sketch. Um, and you can find that in their group on Facebook. So um, I did kind of have a jumping off point here and with the circles, with the pictures, I do change some things up, but I always do on a sketch. I think most of us do. Um, but you can see now how that creative photo corners on there is coming together. Um, I honestly, I didn't expect it to come together quite so easily and quite so in such a eye-pleasing way, but I was really, really pleased with the end result. Now, I could have done all four, um, or I could have done three, or, you know, there's, there's a variety of options here. I felt like after I did two, it was a really nice addition to the page without being too much. And so I opted to stop there. Now what you see me doing right now is I'm just pulling up that fabulous title and tucking my last one underneath there. So now I'm gonna secure the whole base onto this patterned paper and give that black and white another boost using that as my background. And you can see the cardstock, like the actual base of the layout is just straight up black cardstock. Um, I kept it simple there. I didn't have a great option that was like monochromatic and simple enough to go with those patterned papers. And I had so many good patterned papers that I wanted to use, so I needed to keep that in mind. So the rest of this layout really is very basic, um, traditional uses for the adhesives. Um, you've seen me using the Easy Runner Grand over and over, and I'm using just the regular permanent strips refill. Um, you're also going to see me pull in a variety of adhesives um, beyond the crafty foam tape to 
secure my embellishments. So you can see I've got stickers there. I've also got all kinds of ephemera. I've got some 3D stuff and I'm just adding those on whether, you know, even if it's stickers, I might be popping it up using some 3D foam circles or 3D foam squares, um, depending on the situation. I also am adding on one more picture and that one is just of my son by himself. The sketch called for some journaling right there. And honestly, I already have so many words on here that I felt like adding any more was going to be too much and I just couldn't find a way to finish that circle in a way that was pleasing to me and so I was like well I'll just add another picture because the more pictures the merrier right so there you have it it's actually a pretty simple pretty straightforward layout um, just figuring out a couple little embellishments to accompany the pictures really the showcase is the pictures and then that fun use with the creative photo corners and again, all Simple Stories products from this month's kit from the Scrap Room. And all my adhesives are, of course, from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. You can head to their blog to check out some close-up pictures. And thank you so much for being here today. We'll see you again next time.